Hey, it's Dry Bear. Welcome back to another class starter guide for World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Today we'll be covering the Hunter. If you're looking for the other starter guides for all other classes in World of Warcraft, you'll find that in a playlist down below. Also in the description, I have done a video covering a wide topic of what class should you main in Dragonflight, just generally on your preferences, what you like to play. I have another video as well on the meta overall analysis on the classes and what changed going into Dragonflight. That'll be linked down in the description. But today is all about Hunter. We're going to talk about the three specs that Hunter has, go over a class overview on how the class functions, and then I'll give you some leveling builds that you can use for the brand new talent trees in the game. You can import the string down in the description right into your game, control C, control V, and you're ready to play. If you have any questions or comments for me, You'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Now let's begin with a class overview for Hunter. And again, I refer you to my class picking guides on how to pick your main class, but I assume that you're here because you're either interested in seeing more about Hunter or you are playing Hunter yourself. So what is the Hunter? Hunter is the only class in the game that has uh, a permanent pet that it can tame. So it's able to go out and find pets. Uh, one of the coolest parts about Hunter is going around all over the world, finding all the different pets that you can tame. Every new expansion brings new animals, new beasts, new creatures. You can tame them, you can theme them, they're skinned. They all have different categories. They have different special effects, special abilities. It's a never ending pool. There's so many pets that you could have. It's one of the coolest parts about being Hunter. And two of the, uh, well, all three, but uh, two of the specs, Survival and Beast Mastery, use their hunters or their pets all the time. Marksman has a build where you can use no pet at all, but Beast Mastery goes all the way into using pets and you can even have two out at a time, sometimes even three, and then you can do stampedes and stuff where you can spawn a whole bunch of animals. So uh, they definitely have that aspect of being part of nature, having the pets, and it's one of the coolest things that you can have as part of being a hunter. They are a male user and they primarily use ranged weapons except for their third spec survival. So historically they've been all three ranged classes, all three ranged specs. Marksmanship and Beast Mastery use their pet and then use ranged weapons. But uh, survival has been going through this cycle of being reworked every expansion. Uh, hopefully, they're, I guess they're hoping they found it this time. Uh, but they did a couple expansions ago rework survival to be a melee spec. It doesn't mean that you're not, you don't have your ranged abilities. You will still have your pet. You still have all your core functions. And as we'll talk about in the general tree, you still have tons of these ranged abilities. You have, you know, AOE shots, range shots, traps, all this stuff. So you are, you still have range. The big difference though, is that you're going to be running with a melee weapon and you do have a lot of melee abilities on survival uh, and you have ways to grapple to them. So you play kind of like a pseudo melee class. You still have ranged function, uh, but you have the melee there. So Hunter's a great pick for people that uh, want to play pure DPS. They do not have a healer or tank spec. They're all DPS. Um, and they have a decent amount of utility, two ranged specs, and a uh, kind of hybrid melee spec. So it's a great way, you know, above things like Warlock or Mage, um, where you're all ranged, or Rogue, where you're all melee. In this case, you have a chance to be either ranged or melee depending on how you build your character. Now let's cover the class talent tree. So if you didn't know in Dragonflight, we got a brand new talent tree system. It's quite involved and in depth, but don't be afraid. We're gonna go through all of this together. And then you can also take the builds that I give you here. Uh, just hit the copy button uh, in the description, come into game uh, on your exact talent tree, what you're looking at right here, hit import, control V, give it a name, and it'll port the exact leveling build that I have here. You will need new builds for dungeons, uh, high M plus raids and PVP. This is specifically for uh, leveling up and leveling quickly. Now, the way this works is the left tree is your general class tree. This is the hunter tree. This is available to all three specs as is. There'll be minor changes if abilities change and it relies on one of those abilities for classes. But in general, this tree is the same um, functionally for all three specs. So this is your hunter tree. This is what you choose from as the base kit. And then the talent tree on the right is your your spec tree. So this will be specific to the spec that you have. Marksmanship, Beast Mastery, or Survival will have this their own tree on the right side. So what we're going to do today is we're going to cover the class tree first, since it will affect all three specs. And then we'll dive into individual builds and tips and tricks for each spec 
by themselves. Now, since this is a starter guide, I'm not going to cover every niche and, uh, you know, nook and cranny of everything, but just generally what you're looking for out of the class tree. The first one is going to be kill shot. Uh, this, uh, this is very useful and it actually does change based on whether you're survival or you are beast mastery or marksman, but this is essentially your execute. A few classes in the game, like Monk, Warrior, um, they have executes, which means when the target gets low, you can do a bunch of damage, uh, and that's what Kill Shot is. So most builds will be running with Kill Shot. You also have Kill Command, which gives your pet, it's on a low cooldown, it makes your pet do a bunch of damage, so it really integrates the pet. Um, all builds, except for the Lone Wolf uh, Marksman build, will be most likely using Kill Command, as it's a good on-demand damage, it's on a low cooldown, it's great to have in the kit. In the middle here, uh, top middle, is your interrupt. Uh, if you are the two range specs, this is counter shot. It is a ranged interrupt with a 24 second cooldown. So unlike the casters like Warlock and Mage, you have a shorter cooldown on, or Shadow Priest as well, you have a shorter cooldown on your interrupt. So it's very nice to be able to just, when they're casting, pew, then now they're not casting anymore. Uh, you have some unique tools in here. You have a, lot, a decent amount of utility. It's not utility that's like really like, you know, uh, raid defining or group defining, but it is quite useful. The first one is misdirection. You can misdirect a target and then you can hit an enemy and your threat, um, your aggro becomes the target's aggro. So a lot of times hunters will misdirect the tank and then they can just go full ham on a target, get full value. They don't have to worry about the tank getting aggro because they're giving the tank aggro. You have things like tar trap. Um, you have things like steel trap. Uh, you have things like a high explosive trap. Uh, here's steel trap. You have a lot of ways you can put things down. You also have CC like freezing trap. You can throw that out and freeze targets, things like that. Uh, a lot of really cool uh, trap tools for that. Uh, but you also have some other effects in here. If you don't want to use tar trap for the slow, you can use binding shot, which gives you a nice little AOE there. Scatter shot, uh, you'll probably pick between these two pretty often. Down here is your AOE barrage and explosive shot. Both are good. Uh, while leveling, you'll probably use Barrage more often um, just because it's a shorter cooldown and can be more directed into a larger AOE, but they're both good. You'll be able to pick up from them. Uh, same thing for Stampede and Death Chakram, some good decent AOE options. Uh, you'll probably be using Death Chakram while leveling, but you can also use either. The difference between these isn't super high. So for the most part, uh, you're just picking up the tools. M unlike most classes, Hunter has a lot of abilities in the class tree, which means they can kind of pick and choose their kit uh, based on what you, what they need. Uh, this is a little advanced, but things like Trank Shot are nice because you can remove the Enrage effect on some monsters and, and, and bosses, as well as dispelling targets, uh, you know, a purging, stuff like that. So some really cool stuff in here. You're just gonna be picking from this based on what you need. If you don't wanna worry about it right now, you don't have to, you can just use the build that I give you uh, to fill out your, your, your custom tree here, your class tree. Just know that you'll have some abilities that you'll want to probably put on your bar and utilize. Things like camouflage are great for leveling because you can activate it and go stealth for a short period. It makes your pet stealth too, uh, which is super cool. So you're able to use that to get around mobs and, and do quests a little bit more efficiently. Next, let's go into the class specializations. I'll give you some uh, leveling builds for their class tree, talk about the important abilities, uh, and talk about how you can level and, and what really works best. I would say that without question, if you're looking for the best leveling spec, it's going to be Beast Mastery. Uh, not only is it mobile, it's effective, self-sustaining, but also lend, leans into the pets the most, and pets are the easiest way to level because your pet is being attacked, you aren't. <laughs> so you can survive, you can pull a bunch of stuff. There's some really easy cooldowns in here like Bestial Wrath uh, that really make leveling a breeze. So if you're looking for the easiest and fastest build, it's going to be Beast Mastery. Doesn't mean you can't level as Marksmanship and Survival. Um, survival is probably the second best just because it does have some really good AoE. And then last would be marksmanship, mainly because, uh, you know, once the mob gets to you, you you know, you still have a pet if you're not running lone wolf, but you uh, you still have to do enough damage to kill it and you have less options available. So keep that in mind. You can level with whatever one you want. Uh, I'm a big fan of practicing how you play. So if you intend to play a specific spec, you play leveling that spec, even though it's slower, will get you more comfortable but when you start doing content at level 70. But let's start with Beast Mastery. Uh, as the name would suggest, they are the pet build. They lean mostly into pets. There are ways that they can have multiple pets, more than one active, and they have a, a kind of a bond effect with Beast Wrath, which is super cool. You activate it, you and your pet go berserk together, um, and that's kind of like an active theme with Beast Mastery. Um, just like Marksmanship, they run a ranged weapon, so you'll be running a lot of range attacks. 
your pet will go in, you'll have special attacks as well, uh, but there's gonna be a nice little synergy between you and your pet as you do things. Should also mention that you have one of the best avoiding abilities in the game, Feign Death. Uh, what this is, when you activate it, you'll fall over and pretend to be dead, uh, <laughs> and uh, NPCs don't know the difference. So you, they'll, they'll drop target, leave you alone, you can stay on the ground for six minutes, uh, pretty straightforward and easy, uh, and then it allows you to drop aggro, you can use hearthstones, uh, all that kind of stuff. It's super great for leveling. For pet types while leveling, I would recommend um, either Cunning or uh, the Bloodthirsty ones. You can do, I, I prefer Cunning because you get movement speed out of it. I'd rather move faster. You can get Leech out of the other kind, uh, the one that has like the, the life steal on it, which can be super useful while leveling. Uh, I just like my Skinergy here, so I'm gonna stick with this, but uh, just keep in mind that you have the pet types and they will give you passives. So Cunning uh, is one of my favorites for leveling just because you can move faster. And this is the talent tree that I would recommend for leveling as Beast Mastery, but you do have some options here. First, let's go over the choices that we have here just so we're clear on everything. Of course, you're gonna have to take Cobra Shot, still useful, Does you know gives you a little bit of recovery as well, which is nice. Multi Shot gives you the AoE, uh, one of the easiest AoEs in the game, just a ranged cone based on target, which is super cool. Barb shot is an easy pickup as well, but the big things that we're going to want here are down the middle, uh, and you'll see why. So multi shot is picked up at your AOE. Come down here to Beast Cleave. After you multi shot, your pet's melee attacks will also do AOE. So when you activate that, boom, now you've got that active. You can see Beast Cleave up here, and what you'll be doing is using multi shot just to keep Beast Cleave up, right? So it gives you the AOE, the buff comes up. Uh, he'll do a bunch of AoE when this falls off. Make sure you multi-shot again uh, and keep Beast Cleave up because that's going to give you constant AoE damage. If you really want to, you can also do Kill Cleave, which means that when you use Kill Command, while Beast Cleave is up, uh, it'll also do AoE. So you can throw this out, then you can Kill Command, uh, and you'll get some nice Cleave out for that as well. So all these three together is like a lot of good AoE combined with things like uh, Stampede, if you end up running Barrage or Explosive Shot. Uh, you have a lot of really nice AoEs. You can pull mobs together. Uh, and remember, you do have misdirect as well. So while you're playing Beast Mastery, uh, you can like misdirect your pet. You can even make a macro for it. And then when you AoE, it pulls aggro to the pet. You can make it taunt. Uh, and then you're, the pet's always being attacked. You're AoEing it. Like I said, it's very, very casual. Then we come to the signature ability of Beast Mastery, the Beastial Wrath that we talked about earlier. You activate it, you both go into Berserker Frenzy. Super cool, and then you can modify it again uh, to make Barb Shot reduce the cooldown of Beast Your Wrath. So as you're using your Barb Shot, you're reducing the cooldown on it. Uh, so make sure you're doing that, and then you keep it down. Uh, it gives you a nice little little bit. Uh, it's like a little mini Wrath, and then it reduces Wrath. All of it has great synergy that drives it all together. And then I would recommend running Stomp, which means that when you cast Barb Shot, uh, your pet stomps the ground. So again, you have Beast Cleave and Stomp and Multi Shot. Uh, plus whatever AOE you're deciding to run. So you can just get a bunch of mobs together uh, and then you can barb shot. So barb shot is you're going to be spamming it on cooldown. We'll talk about rotation in a second. Uh, you'll be spamming that on cooldown so that uh, you have the ability to get the sacks, send your pet into frenzy, reduce Beastial Wrath's cooldown, uh, and then also give those stomps in AOE, which is going to help you clear. And if that wasn't enough, you pick up Wild Call. I would recommend doing so. Your auto attacks, uh, when they crit, they have a chance to reset barb shot. So there's a, a big theme here. You'll be, be seeing things reset. You'll spam, get things going on. As the cooldowns go down, all of a sudden you got your cooldowns again. You spam again. Uh, and you're just shooting. So you're just getting procs and procs and procs. I think the, the way they have Beast Mastery set up uh, in Dragonflight, at least initially, is uh, quite fun uh, and very uh, casual. You want pack tactics as well. This one increases the focus generation by double, which is super nice. Gives you that nice little bonus while you're keeping everything alive. And lastly, I would recommend picking up Murder of Crows. This is a nice little single target damage. It is a slow dot, but it does do a lot of damage over time. So if you feel like the target's going to live for the full duration or close to it, um, you'll be able to get a lot of value of Murder of Crows. It's also a relatively short cooldown. Uh, it's only a minute for what it is. And if the target dies while under attack, the cooldown is reset, so you'll get it back. So uh, you can min-max this if you want, but it's just really good for killing elites and bigger mobs to keep that damage uh, flowing the whole time. Um, so that'll, yeah, it's a super useful ability. So while leveling, it'll look like this. You'll want to uh, misdirect your pet. If you pull everything, get everything down there. When the combat starts, then you wanna use Beastial Wrath. Make sure you keep on that cooldown. Remember, you're resetting the cooldown by doing things. Um, if you're running Death Chakram or, or Stampede, specifically Death Chakram, because the, the cooldown's quite low, 
you want to just kind of be using that on cooldown. Keep it on cooldown. Keep Beast of Wrath on cooldown. Then, as we talked about, multi-shot. Make sure you keep up Beast Cleaves. You're always doing AoE. If you happen to be running Kill Cleave, act, you know, make sure you're using Kill Command while it's up. But at multi-shot, every time Beast Cleave falls off, so you're always doing AoE. Uh, you can Kill Command for the Stomp as well. Uh, and then you want to use Barb Shot on whatever target you think is going to live the longest. So you can get the bleed on them, get some value. You can even Barb Shot multiple targets. And remember, the Barb Shot will lower the cooldown on Beast of Wrath. You can see we just used it. We Barb Shot. All of a sudden, Beast of Wrath's already back up. Then we're going again. And that's basically the rotation. If you get in trouble, you can Feign Death, drop target. Uh, you can Turtle Up, keep defense as well. Uh, and just keep uh, you mul you misdirect your pet as much as you possibly can. Uh, just to make sure that they're always getting aggro. They will have this taunt ability on uh, on rotation, so they'll keep themselves alive uh, and they'll keep aggro on them. But if you need to, you can drop uh, with with <laughs> feign death, or you can misdirect and move them back over to your pet. And that's it. That's why I think Beast Mastery is not only the fastest level, but it's also the most casual. Just let your pet do the work and just keep your buttons on cooldown. And you can pull whatever you want. You can go wherever you want. Uh, it's very easy. Next, let's talk about Marksmanship. This one, uh, at least in Shadowlands, was kind of like the king of M+. Um, there was some nice com competition. It does look like Beast Mastery is going to be doing really well endgame, but we'll have to see exactly how gear strikes out and how the parses come out overall. Marksmanship is kind of like the, I like shooty pew pew pang pang. They've got a lot of really high single target damage, a lot of really cool burst uh, ways to kind of really get in there, uh, line up and do a bunch of damage. So that's super cool. We like that. Uh, and then they have some modifications as well. So this is the build I would recommend. I would definitely recommend going for either Barrage or Explosive Shot. Again, I think Barrage is probably a little bit easier to manage. Just the one thing about Barrage is make sure you don't aim it at targets you don't intend to hit. Because you can sometimes pull extra mobs. Uh, but I, I think for, for Marksmanship, it's super good. You're going to get the aggro anyway. Uh, so you'll have that available to you. This is the Marksmanship build that you have available. If you want to copy that, just go down in the description. Uh, copy it, hit import, boom, 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 give it a name, ba ba da bop, boop, and you got yourself a talent build. Uh, the, the lone wolf that I was talking about, uh, where you can no longer have an active pet, I think the pet's crucial for leveling, so I wouldn't recommend running the lone wolf build for marksmanship while leveling, just so you have that extra uh, meat shield to absorb and taunt and and uh, really help you moving, because you're, you're not going to be killing things in one shot or killing things before they get to you, so the pet just only helps you level. When it comes to leveling with marksmanship, your big thing is that you have an advantage when the mob hasn't started fighting yet. Uh, so you want to be able to use your big cooldowns like True Shot, uh, give you a nice big bonus, and then you can also use a passive here that will get Careful Aim, which means that Aim Shot deals more damage when the target's above 50 or 70% health. So you want to make sure that you use those uh, to keep a big burst of damage on top of the target before they even know you're there. You have the pet there. You can still misdirect your pet if you'd like. Uh, keep that defense on them and depend on what pet you run. In this case, because you don't have the Beast Mastery talents, I would get a tankier pet. Uh, I think Beast Mastery can get away with running a cunning pet for the movement speed. Marksmanship needs something beefier, so you can run like a turtle or a cleft hoof or something like that uh, and then get some uh, beef on there or even can just run um, Ferocity for, for the lifesteal. Uh, but in general, you want to kind of lean on your pet as much as you can, but look for that extra damage uh, you can open the open the pull with like true shot into aim shot just to get a big chunk on them. And again, unlike Beast Mastery, your pet is going to be more susceptible to dying. So you do want to use things like exhilaration to heal your pet up on a two minute cooldown. Uh, you can use uh, your uh, aspect of the turtle and pull aggro or drop. And then you want to be using men pet as well. It's a 10 second cooldown. It does give a hot, but for marksmanship, <laughs> the Beast Mastery pets are monsters. They're very strong, but the marksman pets are a little bit weaker. So you want to make sure you kind of pop mend mend pet on them. You'll find that in your pet utility list here uh, and just be using that regularly to keep your pet alive. There's not a crazy amount of synergy inside this tree when you're talking about just leveling. Uh, there's a couple things that are really important to know about uh, in here. Rapid Fire has some interactions with Aim Shot. Um, so Rapid Fire is a single target ability that deals damage and you can use it while moving. So that's super good. So you can activate it and go ba 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 It'll give you a nice little buff there, which will reduce the cast time of your aim shot. So you can use that to make it faster. And remember that same effect will happen with true shot. So you will be opening a lot with true shot uh, to get that going. And you also get bonus focus when you have it. Uh, and I do recommend running surging shots, which means that rapid fire deals additional damage. And then aim shot has a chance to reset the cooldown of rapid fire. So between these two abilities, you get a lot of single target damage and they'll be resetting each other 
which is super cool. If you get the opportunity, you can use things like volley uh, and barrage together, trying to get some really nice AOEs going, put the volley down, uh, go down, get some you know barrage, gets lots of AOEs. The one thing I'll caution you on is again, uh, Marksman being one of the harder ones to level with, uh, you might run into some issues where you just pull too much or it's really hard to keep track on the targets. So the big thing is just using uh, your, your big burst rapid fire and aim shot to kill the target quickly, move on to the next one and then use your pet uh, when you can. You do have some modifier buffs like double tap. Uh, this one is your next aim shot, right? So when you activate it, uh, it's your next aim shot. So you can pop this before combat as you're walking up uh, pop true shot, go in, and then you can use your uh, your aim shot there, um, and then you kind of pump back in, get back into a super fast aim shot, and you're just you're just pumping, you're doing a bunch of damage, uh, and then you're just kind of mending your pet and keeping things up. Well, as far as rotation goes, you want to start with your cooldowns, keep true shot, like pop true shot on cooldown, make sure you're using uh, aim shot for careful aim, and then you just want to be using rapid fire and aim shot back and forth. As you get precise shot procs, your aim shot, uh, you'll be able to use that to get either uh, Arcane Shot, which becomes Chimera Shot. You either do Arcane Shot uh, or Chimera Shot if there's two targets or less. If there's more, you'll use those procs for uh, multi-shot. It's just a nice way to get uh, those extra little bonus damages on that. I wouldn't really be spamming them otherwise because you do have some nice options for damage outside of just getting these procs. Uh, it's just they're just for free and they give you lots of extra damage, which is nice And like I said if you have aoe you can use things like tar trap to keep them under control uh, And then you just want to be going in using your barrage or explosive shot whichever one that you have equipped uh, And then you want to be using your volley as well So you put that down get some nice aoe uh, and then be misdirect I'm telling you misdirect your pet as much as you possibly can if you find yourself at a point where you have no focus left uh, Nothing to do you can just pop steady shot uh, this one's very easy. You can do it while moving. You just spam it. It's a nice way. Each time it goes off, it gives you 10 focus. Your focus is going up naturally. If you're running out of focus, uh, then you can pop that as well. Lastly, let's talk about my favorite hunter spec, Survival. So this is, uh, like I said, it, it's it's almost a melee build. Uh, you do use a melee weapon, so you'll have a, a pole arm equipped. Um, so you'll be doing a lot of melee, but you have uh, moments where you step out, you do ranged, you're placing things down, you're using your pet. Uh, but you do have ways that you're going in and doing melee damage, so it's it's a little bit of both, uh, but you do have mostly melee interactions that are good. Uh, it's not quite as good as Beast Mastery, but it's better than Marksmanship for leveling, because you have a lot of really cool AoE combinations, and really cool uh, options for movement. You can jump in, you can jump out, bring pets together, you can misdirect your pet if you really want. Uh, and then you just have tons of ways to just kind of keep things moving. Your melee uh, attack um, that you're going to be spending on is Raptor Strike, but in most builds, you'll turn it into Mongoose Bite. It replaces Raptor Strike. So you have this available to deal damage, and then while this, uh, while you hit a target with Mongoose Strike, you get a buff that increases the damage of Mongoose Bite um, by 50%, and it stacks up to five times. Uh, so you'll, uh, you'll just be able to pump, 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 get those stacks up, a little extra damage on yourself, which is cool. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so you will be just getting that extra bonus uh, using Mongoose Bite. And what's cool about Survival is it is a melee spec, uh, and they did a good job of trying to make sure that there were plenty of ways that you could get into melee range to be effective in melee. Uh, but as you can expect, anything that allows you to get into melee range quickly is excellent for leveling. So built into your base kit, you have Harpoon. You'll be able to jump in towards a target and do uh, that. You can use mobs as ways to move around as you're leveling, uh, which I like a lot. Then you have some other options here like flanking strike. You and your pet leap to the target. Uh, so if you do have distance, you can jump in again using your uh, flanking strike. You also have spearhead, which you charge the enemy with your pet dealing damage. You don't have to pick this up if you don't want to, but it does give you a nice little movement uh, and it resets cooldown, uh, which is really cool for kill command. So nice little bonus and damage. And kind of like Beastmaster, you have your own version of Beastal Wrath called Coordinated Assault. Uh, this makes your pet charge in, you and your pet charge in, another charge ability, super cool. Uh, and then you bond and you deal, uh, your base attack is going to power your next attack. Uh, but what's cool about Coordinated Assault is you can modify it with Coordinated Kill. So while it's active, um, the cooldown of Wildfire Bomb is down. So you can actually actually have this active uh, and do more uh, Wildfire Bombs, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, but I would recommend as you level, go down to Coordinated Kill and then pick up Birds of Prey. So while Coordinated Assault is active, Kill shot strikes up to three additional targets, which means that your execute now cleaves 
<laughs> so you have all these abilities where you're just charging in repeatedly. Anytime someone gets away from you, new mob comes in, you're jumping in. Uh, it's super fun. You're doing lots of AOE uh, and then doing that. Now let's talk about Wildfire Bomb. One of your best leveling abilities. In fact, it's going to make your rotation very simple. Uh, Wildfire Bomb is you throw a bomb at the target uh, and then it, it deals damage on the initial explosion, then coats targets, uh, giving them uh, an extra damage. You can apply bleeding from that, which is super nice. But what's cool about it is there's a lot of modifications. You can give it two charges instead of one, making the initial explosion deal more damage. Then you can do more damage here. Then you can use Coordinated Assault to make your Wildfire Bomb. After using Coordinated Assault, do even more damage. Then you can even have more for the Wildfire Bomb. The Wildfire Bomb, Wildfire Bomb, Wildfire Bomb. So you have all these different options for setting up AoE. So you, you, if you're doing AoE, you can very easily just use your Wildfire Bomb, have it rotate. Uh, if you have Coordinated Assault active, uh, then all your wildfire bombs are going to be bonkers. The cooldown is going to be super cool. And remember, while you're jumping from target to target uh, with a harpoon, every time you kill a target, it resets the cooldown of harpoon. So you kill a target, cooldown on harpoon goes down. If you have according to assault, you can jump in. If you have uh, the um, if you have flanking strike, you can jump in. If you decide to go spearhead, I wouldn't recommend it because I just think that birds of prey is so good. Uh, but if you want to get this, it's another way to charge in as well. The only difference between single target and AoE for survival while leveling that I'll tell you is that when you're single target, you have the extra focus to spend on Mongoose Bite. Um, so you're burning a boss down. It's going to keep doing more and more damage. You get the extra stacks. It's really good, but it is a focus hog. So on single target, use all the cooldowns. Uh, make sure you're kind of debuffing, putting the dots in. Uh, and then in single target, you really only need to spend um, the extra bit on the uh, Wildfire Bomb there. And then, uh, then you can burn Mongoose Bite. But if it's AoE, I would just go in, use Coordinated Assault, drop your Wildfire Bomb, use it on cooldown, um, use Explosive Shot on cooldown just to keep everything burning. If you need to, you can put Tar Trap down to slow. Uh, and then, of course, you do have uh, Butchery in here, which is nice. It does cost focus, so I'll use it only if there's no, no other option uh, in AoE, but it is a nice way to burn your focus uh, if you have stacks and uh, really just burn, burn down the enemies. And just like Marksmanship, you don't have a BM pet, uh, so make sure you're using Mend Pet. Make sure you're using Exhilaration. Keep your pet alive. Uh, you know, use all those hools. You'll have a, a ways to reduce the cooldown on this anyway, uh, which is super nice. So just kind of use that all together and whatever racials you have. And that's Survival. I think Survival is the most fun, but it's nowhere near as easy or fast as BM. Uh, but it is a little bit better than Marksmanship. So that's it. If you're looking for more guides uh, on uh, World of Warcraft or any game, really, please let me know in the description down below or the comments down below. Let me know what game you're looking for, what guides you'd like to see. These are all starter guides, but if you'd like to see intermediate, advanced, dungeon, and plus raid guides for classes, I can certainly do that. Just let me know by commenting down below. Thanks for hanging out. Hope this was helpful. Good luck in the expansion. And if you want to have any comments for me, feel free to drop by my live stream every day twitch.tv forward slash driver okay good luck if you enjoyed yourself today leave a like down below you can support me and my work on patreon and view patreon exclusive content link in the description thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>